Leos, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for May 23rd through the 29th of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link because the signs are different. All right, so Leo, this week we have that uh, cultivation of, I think, a lot of the full moon energy from the previous weekend, which uh, was in regards to, I think, your mind or uh, things that uh, came to you in regards to your communication from the previous weekend if that was on that side of it, um, or it could have been in regards to your fourth house, which is in regards to your home, your family, your emotional life, and maybe even your health. Because that full moon was right on the cusp between your third and fourth, depending on your personal chart, maybe uh, pulling to either one of these signs. But I think it's probably more so on the fourth. So in terms of your emotional body, home, family, health, I think it's a great week to be implementing that stuff this week. Now, Mercury did go direct the previous weekend, and this was in regards to what's possible in life in your ninth house. Maybe a lot of you have been reflecting on your adventurous spirits over the past few weeks. And this is both your sense of adventure on a physical or literal, literal level, such as through travel or connecting to nature or whatever it might be, uh, but also, and maybe for some of you, only internally. And this is about philosophy, spirituality, and studying and learning. And these kinds of things about life and life's journey and life, the life path. So that's all moving forward for you this week. It's a great week to implement anything that does expand your horizons, that does tap into that adventurous spirit and uh, is wisdom or philosophical or spiritual in nature. So that's uh, coming off in the previous weekend. Now Mars is still retrograde, of course. So a lot of things relating to, again, your home, your family, your roots, your health is still very reflective, especially because Saturn is retrograde there. But Mars is leaving that fourth house going into your third. So I think right around this uh, maybe Tuesday time period, you'll start to feel this shift of this time of it's good to be rehashing your communication skills or rehashing the way you see things, re, you know, learning more about your mind, how your mind works, how you communicate. And maybe going back and... You know, if you guys have been involved with anything in the past relating to reading or writing or communicating, rehashing that, redoing that, quite literally. So it's a good area of learning, and this is going to be all the way through June with Mars retrograde in the third. And I think just being inquisitive, being open-minded, and then being willing to learn more about, again, your mind and how you communicate can be some good areas of that uh, reflection. And as a result... As we get into July, Mars starts to gain its momentum. It's a lot to be put forward, I think, in terms of your ideas, in terms of what you might have to say, and in terms of what you could be learning right now at the moment. So that's uh, that Mars uh, retrograde. And uh, this early part of the week as well does have Mars opposing up to Venus. So it'll be particularly Tuesday and Wednesday. And this is the balancing point here of masculine feminine yin yang and then being very obvious and very distinct from one another so this is the fact that it's great for you right now to be focused on your career your long-term goals your productive life it's a lot of energy to be gained here with your ruler of the sun up here in the 10th it's a lot to be enjoyed maybe some of you are connecting with relationships in your work life or in your public life all right so still great areas to focus on that's where you're gonna have a new moon here in about a couple weeks but um, here with this opposition, it's about balance here. Balancing maybe your work life and your personal life, which is that Mars associated with the fourth. And maybe even balance in terms of what you could be relearning, rethinking with the career stuff. Right? And I think bringing extra attention to the communication in general, it'll be very important this week, just so you can learn more about it. And it can keep everything nice and balanced. Because Mars... You know, is, is very direct in the third house about ideas and things. And that can be great, but there's a lot, again, being learned with the retrograde and in the opposition, suggesting the importance of tact, of balance, of harmony, mutual respect, mutual understanding, which are all these Venusian sort of things. So that's the balancing point. And perhaps the most important aspect of the week is going to be the fact that Jupiter is squaring up to Saturn on Thursday. So this has been going on the past week. It's taking us into June. Very important aspect, which has been about slow and steady growth. Particularly for you guys, because you do have Jupiter in the first house. So this is that. There's been a lot of reflection these past roughly five or six months relating to you, where you're putting your energy, your self-image even. 
and these goals. But that stuff has started to move forward with Jupiter Direct these past couple weeks. And so now it's this expansive time. It's a great time for you to be adventurous, free-spirited. Tap into those possibilities to learn more about yourself in the process. To be direct, independent. But Saturn's over here squaring up to that saying, but with patience, especially this week, with the exact around Thursday. Patience with all of this. Take it nice and slow. Build these long-term possibilities. This more grounded, I guess, aspect of self. And this is Saturn in your fourth house, who's been showing you the importance of building long-term things in your life that are your roots that you can establish. You know, this is the time for you over these surrounding years to be establishing your roots, whether it's at home, whether it's with family, whether it's with your location or with your health. These are good areas to take very seriously with Saturn here. And that's the square up to Jupiter suggesting the importance of, uh, you know, implementing this grounded approach, specifically of the emotional body, this emotional reserve that you're developing, emotional maturity, if you will, and patience into what is expanding and where those opportunities certainly are. So there's definitely growth. It's just got the element of Saturn involved, which is limited, but limited for the sake of the long-term gains versus just the short-term ones. All right, so it's a good week to work with this constructively and even see maybe some optimistic stuff about the home, family, or health. Bring in some of that Jupiter into Saturn. You know, this is the possibilities with the uh, refinement in both areas, both with self and with your roots in life. And in that way, it becomes very constructive with that square. All right, so I think that's going to be the major energy of the week. But in a nutshell, again, you do have that sun and Venus up there in the 10th. Still great to be focused on the productive stuff or the career thing. There's a lot of uh, insight that you could be implementing this week about the adventurous spirits of life. Maybe even about finances, since Mercury rules your second. Maybe about friends or community, since he rules your 11th as well. That stuff moving forward. And uh, yeah, that opposition between Mars and Venus suggesting the importance of balance. I think balance with the personal life and the work life in particular and bringing the extra attention there and the extra attention on the communication. And in that way, it becomes very balanced and very constructive in this sense, in which you're bringing in the communication, you're bringing in the personal life into the career, and you're bringing in that productive energy, that grounded energy from the 10th into your home life or into that those communications or what you're learning, which is a lot of this reflective stuff. So it's good to be open to learning, be inquisitive, trying new things, reading, writing, all of this, and maybe you'll find some new motivation there and you found motivation, which is that Mars retrograde, us learning more about what really motivates us in life. And here, perhaps, in the area of your mind, your ideas, and what you have to say. All right, so Leo, have a fantastic week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next week.